below the ocean, there is no time, so the mermaids live forever. And it's a bit like going back to childhood, to a time when you couldn't remember what day of the week it was or what time of the day. This process is very physical and um, uh, using your imagination as well. And um, it's very different. I've never really looked into a story that's sort of fantasy, but also entwines itself in reality. Um, so people can really get lost in it. Um, I imagine that there's people of all ages that, that imagine themselves in, in stories like The Mermaid. So we're working very movement based, which is a, a completely new area for me. Um, and as a human being in the play, it's been really interesting to, to feel how my weight shifts underwater to above it and how then I have to give my weight to a lot of the mermaids to kind of make those physical sequences work. It's an epic coming of age story about sexual awakening, about that moment in puberty when suddenly all these strange feelings start to happen. And um, she takes us on a real journey from a place of relative safety of childhood into a world that's much more complicated and confusing. And then hopefully um, out the other side of that. Um, I won't say too much about the ending because you have to come and find out.